Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. Hi, how you going? It's me. Cat. <laughs> also, because nobody asks, I'm going to tell you, my favourite colour is orange. I love orange. So, today's video is a q and A. I I am posted... I'm doing a Q&A on my channel, Ask Me Anything, and I did it on my private Facebook account, so I posted it to my friends and family if they wanted to contribute. I also posted it on my life journey, so if any of my life supporters wanted to ask me questions, because I also send them links to my channel when I upload videos, they could contribute to that. And I'm also part of a community called The Retro Replay Replayers. And I also posted to them and asked if they would like to ask me any questions for my Q&A for this channel. And I had responses from the replays and I had responses from my life family and I had one friend contribute one question. And I'm going to save that one to last because it is a doozy. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So the first question is from Katie, she's one of my life supporters, and she asked me, how are you now? Uh, I'm doing really well now, uh, considering everything going on in the world, um, I've actually been trying to take care of my mental and physical health a lot more than I normally would, um, so I'm very happy and healthy at the moment, um, especially, you know, I've had a few flare-ups with my mental health, as I normally do. Um, and it's been a lot easier to take care of myself mentally because I'm working hard every day to take care of myself mentally and physically uh, with changes that I've had in my life recently from changing my diet to how much fitness I'm doing which is a lot more um, how much sleep I'm getting just how much water I'm drinking meditating every day just all the good stuff that people really should be doing anyway um, so to answer your question, I'm doing really well. I'm happy and healthy. The next question is from Gracia, also from, I hope I pronounced your name right by the way. I assume it's Gracia. I don't, I don't think it's Gracia, that sounds weird. Unless it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm saying your name. So the next question is from Gracia and she asked me uh, how I'm spending my time in quarantine. So, where I am in Australia, I'm in Tasmania, the very, very bottom, uh, we're not necessarily in quarantine. Like, um, they're encouraging us to stay at home and only come out for essentials. A lot of stores are closed, a lot of places are closed. And um, during, like, over the Easter weekend, a lot of people uh, were pulled over and asked where they were going and stuff like that by the police. So, they're sort of being firm about it, but they're not, like go home, do not leave your house, like, they're not being super, super strict. Um, but I am isolating myself, as most people should be. Uh, spending most of my time at home, uh, nearly 95% of my time at home. Uh, what am I doing to pass the time? Well, I have been doing a lot of fitness and working out, um, but generally my day goes along the lines of I get up, I take Jack to work, especially over a weekday. Uh, I get up, I take Jack to work, I come home, and by the time I come home, it's about quarter past six in the morning, and then I do my morning routine, which is feed the boys, clean their litter trays, um, meditate. I have stretches I have to do for my back to keep my back healthy, so I do those uh, morning and night, and brush my teeth, and then I usually do housework first thing because housework is one of those things you can sort of just fumble through it and then by the time I have housework done I'm like oh I'm motivated cool let's go work out let's go for a walk let's do a HIIT workout let's do an isolated workout on whatever part of the body I want to work out um, so I have been doing a lot of housework the house, the house is very tidy and uh, and fitness when I'm not working out or doing housework I like to just chill uh, I am a nerd as most of you know, um, I'm a gamer, so lately I've been playing a bit of PlayStation, um, or I'll watch TV shows, movies, uh, YouTube, or read, um, and while I'm on my walks, 
I like to listen to podcasts as well. But yeah, mostly housework, fitness, and then relaxing, playing games, and uh, reading. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of gaming. I game a lot. <laughs> so the next question is from Abby, also from Life. And Abby asked me what my goals are for after lockdown, or I assume after everything comes down. Well, my current goals right now, as of today, are to just be happy and healthy. They've always been major goals in my life, regardless of anything I do. So happy and healthy. Um, but a big goal I have for when everything comes down is to find a job. Because it is very, very difficult um, where I am, and I mean in the world in general at the moment, uh, to find a job. So that would be top of my list. So Abby followed up with another question after this and asked uh, what was it that I did um, in my last job and I said that I was a receptionist at a veterinary clinic and I loved it, I had a lot of fun. And she asked me if I would be interested in getting into that sort of work again uh, as it's very hard to get into the veterinary industry, anything to do with animal care is very difficult to get into, especially down here. Um, there's a lot of people interested in it and no jobs. Um, and my response was, I would love to get, like, if I could ha get that job again, I would love it. I had so much fun getting to know people and their pets and the people I worked with and the work was satisfying and I loved it. Uh, but the main thing for me is working with people. I love doing anything customer service related, anything like that. I, I love a desk work. Um, it sounds silly, but it's so satisfying to me. So anything to do with reception work or customer service or administration, that that's my jam. So good. Jenny from the Replays community asked me, uh, Uncharted or Last of Us? Do I like either? Do I like both? Uh, if so, do I love them or do I just like them? Uh, what are the reasons I like them individually or both? Um, she was very interested in my opinion on Uncharted and Last of Us. I love both. I love all of the Uncharted series, including Lost Legacy. I have all of the Uncharted series. I have the remastered version of 1, 2, and 3 on PlayStation 4, and I have 1 and 2 on PlayStation... No, 1, 2, and 3 on PlayStation 3, and then I have the collector's edition of number 4, and I also have Lost Legacy, just normal. Uh, so I love that. And of course I have Last of Us on PlayStation 3. Um, I actually didn't play Last of Us until this year, around the time that um, Troy Baker and Nolan North, Retro Replay call out, started playing it and I watched the first part and I was like, oh this is, this is wicked, like I didn't know that this was such a full on game. And I knew I had it and I hadn't played it, so I pulled it out and decided I would play it. And I was like, oh maybe I could play along with you know, retro replay, but it didn't end up happening because I played through it so quickly uh, because I enjoyed it so much. I love them both for different reasons. Uncharted has this like childish, sarcastic humour to it that makes it really funny and light-hearted to me. Um, both of them have really good stories and I have to be, like, games have to be story-driven for me. If they have no story, I'm not interested at all. Um, so both have really good stories. Uncharted's like childish and... <laughs> and humorous and I like that about it. It's very light-hearted. Uh, like it tries to be serious at moments but it's very light-hearted at its core. And Last of Us was such an emotional roller coaster, and it just sucked you in. And that's what I loved about it. I love games that like they just suck you into the story and the characters and make you just like... Games like that make you get tunnel vision. <laughs> and I love it. So I love both of them for different reasons. Um, but yes, I love both of them. <laughs> Pagan from the Retro Replay community. Pagan has a Twitch channel, Pagan underscore plays. If you are interested in anything to do with gaming on Twitch, please go check her out. She's awesome. Bet you didn't think I'd do a shout out for you, Pagan, but there you go. Uh, Pagan asked me two questions. She asked me, what is the best advice I've ever been given? And if I could give myself advice, like, if, <laughs> how do I word it? Um, if I could give myself five years ago advice, what would I tell myself? Uh, and the first thing is the best advice I was given, I gave her two, but I'll just tell the, 
the first one because I think I should answer with just one. So the best advice I've ever been given was from my psychologist actually and she said to me, it's okay to not be okay. You don't have to be okay all the time, 100%, every single day. Everyone has ups and downs. Everyone had like, that's life. It's ebb and flow. So every time I have a bad day, I'm like, well, it's a bad day. We move on. We get over it. It's not like, oh, it's a bad day. Oh. And then you just get in a shit and then everything goes to shit because your mood's gone to crap. You know what I mean? So it's okay to not be okay. It's a normal thing. We're all human. We all feel things. So that's the best advice I've ever been given. As far as uh, what advice I would give myself from five years ago, I would tell myself from five years ago, you will be loved again. You can be loved again and it'll get easier. Uh, five years ago was just before I met Jack, my now husband, and it was the worst year of my life. I was going through so much stuff. Um, you know, I had a death in the family. There was like a rift in the family because of something else that happened. Um, my parents officially separated. It was very, very nasty. My partner of two and a half years, we broke up and I moved back home. Um, I lost my apprenticeship. Like I've mentioned several of these in another video, but, um, yeah, it was like year from hell. And amongst all that, I met him. Um, and so five years ago would have been just before I met him and I was going through all these stuff and you know it was a very hard time a very difficult time I thought you know I've, I've been in this relationship for so long I don't know if I'm able to have the time to socialize with all the work I'm doing it was just very very hard um, you know emotionally physically all of the above and I would just like if I could just go back in time and tell myself one thing it would be it gets easier <laughs> It gets easier. Adam from the replay community, uh, he asked me a couple of questions. Um, mostly, uh, what is my channel about? Why did I start my channel? Um, what, a, what do I do other than my channel? My channel is basically whatever I want to talk about, um, whatever I want to do, whatever I'm interested in, whether that be tattoos, kayaking, fitness, anything, gaming, reading, TV shows, whatever I want to talk about, whatever I want to film, myself talking about, whatever I want to do, I'm going to do that because, you know, that seems like a great outlet for me. Um, why did I start it? I did some like PR stuff for where I volunteer and someone said, you speak very well like on camera and you're very confident and, and I had a friend of mine go, you should start your own YouTube channel and then a couple other of my friends, I do like mini Snapchat story things for them and they're like oh this is so cool you should do your own youtube channel and so after people suggesting it to me i thought hey why not let's give it a go and then after making my first video i realized i really like editing which is so weird <laughs> but yeah i liked editing uh so that's why i started my channel what do i do now i'm currently unemployed but i do foster cats and kittens and i also volunteer at the cat center um I am a fur mum. I have two lovely fur babies. They're getting so big so quick. Um, and I'm predominantly a housewife. Like I do a lot of the housework and, and the meal prep and the cooking here as well. Uh, which I'm okay with because I'm a little bit, little bit OCD. I like things done my way. So the next question was from Adam again. He asked me a few questions actually. So thank you Adam. Um, he actually went and watched a few of my video, my other videos, and he particularly watched uh, my mental health journey, and he had a question to do with um, my diagnosis and how I deal day to day sort of thing. Uh, and he said, uh, with your diagnosis, does, is gaming harmful or is it helpful? Um, so if you want to know more about my diagnosis and you know, my mental health journey to put a bit of perspective on this question, then I'll put the link in the description, but it's also easily accessible on my channel. Uh, but to answer your question, Adam, gaming, when I am having bad mental health or derealization specifically, is super, super helpful. Because when I am having derealization, nothing feels real. It's very hard to focus on anything. So it's great to have something to force my focus whether that be a book to read, TV show or movies to watch, YouTube to watch or gaming or anything physical. 
like exercising for example anything where I can force my focus is great when I have really really bad days sometimes weeks I will just sit there for hours and hours and hours and game because to me that's a lot better than wandering around the house wondering uh, why everything doesn't feel real so <laughs> it's a bit of a serious answer but yeah gaming is super awesome uh, when it comes to my mental health it's one of one of the reasons I love gaming so much so. Jenny from the replay community back with another question she actually came back with two questions um, and this one is probably one of my favorite questions and it is aren't cats awesome yes they are they are the best I love cats that's why I volunteer with the cat center that's why I foster cats and kittens that's why I adopted two beautiful babies I keep looking over there because he's like all curled up and asleep in a fluffy blanket it's so cute I'm gonna get footage and show you. Hello to YouTube. You look so comfy. <laughs> Say hi now. <laughs> you waved. Hi everyone. But yes, to answer your question, he came out, he wanted to cut it. To answer your question, cats are awesome. Cats are amazing. They are low maintenance compared to dogs. I don't have to walk them every day. I don't have to you know, give him attention all the time. Although Mao is very clingy. Aren't you, baby? You want to say hi to everyone? So Jenny then followed up with two questions. Uh, and her next question was, uh, is your hubby a cat person? That would be awesome. No, he's not a cat person, actually. <laughs> he's uh, more of a dog person. Um, but since fostering, he's sort of learned to love cats for what they are because cats and dogs are very different and I love dogs as well I love mo most animals most animals I love my Mao which is who you met and Jack loves Sora Sora's very very shy so he's probably not going to be on camera very much whereas Mao's just like curling up in my lap right now uh, so no he is not a cat person he's a select cat person he likes select cats hmm yeah, that's the best way of describing it, actually. Jenny's other question, after that one, was how did you and your hubby meet? Uh, we actually met online. That's it. It's very boring. <laughs> I went to his house the first time I met him, which is like super dangerous, whatever. Um, I made a pizza, took some drinks. We watched Pirates of the Caribbean twice because we were too busy talking the first time through. Um, yeah, and we just clicked something something clicked but we didn't actually date for a, a whole month because I was too scared to get into a serious relationship I didn't want anything serious I didn't want a relationship and um, you know just coming out of a long-term relationship and you know he asked me out twice over that month and I turned him down and then one day we were smiling and laughing about something I don't know what it was but we were both laughing and being stupid and I realized that he made me happy. And I thought, that is way more important than you not wanting to be in a long-term relationship or anything serious because of the hurt you still have from your previous relationship. So I put my happiness over my hurt and the rest is history. I asked him out and we're still together. So yeah, we're together five years this July and three years married in November. So like two and a half years married now. Yeah. And now we have a family. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, my best friend Ben. We love you Ben. <laughs> he contributed one question. He was the only friend, like close friend and family who contributed a question. And the question is, drum wrong. The question is, does Lightning McQueen have life insurance or car insurance? And the answer is, it's life insurance. They're all cars. They're only humans. And they're like all different vehicles because I'm pretty sure there were helicopters in one of them, wasn't there? Exactly. So they're all like living beings, right? So it's all life insurance because there's no people. So it's life insurance to answer your question, Benjamin. I went there, I called you your full name.
Thank you everyone for all your questions from the Retro Replay Replayers community. Thank you so much uh, for your support and your questions. And from everyone on my life journey, thank you so much for your undying support. Not only with my channel, but also with my mental and physical health journey that I have been going through for many years. And I know some of my supporters on, on life have been there since the very beginning. So... Thank you very, very much, everyone. And thank you, Ben, for your sarcastic question. I appreciate the meme. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.